Welcome to Reading Practice, Summer Season. What do you like to do during the summer season? I like to spend a lot of time outdoors. The weather is warm and sunny, which makes it perfect for activities like swimming, hiking, and picnicking. I love going to the beach with my family. We swim in the sea, build sand castles, and enjoy ice cream. I also like to have barbecues in the backyard with friends and family. We grill meat and vegetables, and it is always a fun and relaxing time. Another activity I enjoy is a hiking in the mountains. The trails are beautiful, and I get to see lots of plants and animals. Sometimes, I also like to travel to new places during the summer. It's a great time for vacations because the days are long and I can do many things. Overall, summer is my favorite season because there are so many fun things to do. At the airport. What is your experience like at the airport when you travel? My experience at the airport is usually very exciting, but can also be a bit stressful. First, I arrive early to make sure I have enough time for everything. Then, I go through security, which can take some time because I have to take off my shoes and put my bags through a scanner. After that, I like to walk around the airport. There are many shops and restaurants, so I sometimes buy a book to read on the plane. I also check the departure board to see if my flight is on time. When it is time to board the plane, I go to the gate and wait for my group to be called. Once on the plane, I find my seat put my carry-on bag in the overhead compartment and get ready for the flight. Healthy life. How do you maintain a healthy life? I try to do a few important things. First, I eat healthy foods. I like to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. I also drink a lot of water every day. Second, I exercise regularly. I go to the gym three times a week. At the gym, I do both cardio and strength exercises. Sometimes, I also like to swim or ride my bike. Third, I make sure to get enough sleep. I try to sleep at least eight hours every night. Sleep helps me feel good and have energy for the day. I try to avoid too much stress by taking breaks and doing things I enjoy, like reading or spending time with friends. Finally, I go to the doctor for regular checkups to make sure everything is okay. By eating well, exercising, sleeping enough, managing stress, and visiting the doctor, I can stay healthy and feel good. Sell things. Have you ever sold things you no longer need? Yes, I have. Last year, I cleaned out my closet and found many clothes that I didn't wear anymore. They were still in good condition, so I decided to sell them online. I took pictures of the clothes and posted them on a website where people can buy and sell used items. It was a bit of work to take the pictures and write descriptions, but it was worth it. I was able to make some extra money and free up space in my closet. I also sold some old books and electronics that I didn't use anymore. Selling things I don't need helps me keep my home organized and gives me extra cash. Plus, it feels good to know that someone else can use and enjoy the things 
I no longer need. Save money. How do you save money? I save money by doing a few simple things. First, I make a budget every month. I write down how much money I earn and how much I spend. This helps me see where my money goes and find ways to save. I try to spend less on things I don't really need, like eating out or buying new clothes. Instead, I cook at home and wear the clothes I already have. I also look for sales and use coupons when I shop. Another way I save money is by setting aside a part of my income every month. I have a saving account where I put this money. I don't touch it unless there is an emergency. Saving money gives me a sense of security and helps me prepare for the future. I also avoid using credit cards too much because I don't want to pay high interests. By budgeting, cutting unnecessary expenses and saving a part of my income, I can save money and feel more financially secure. Transportation. How do you usually get to work? I usually get to work by bus. The bus stop is near my house, so it's very convenient. I wake up early in the morning, get ready, and walk to the bus stop. The bus arrives every 15 minutes, so I don't have to wait long. The bus ride takes about 30 minutes. During the ride, I like to listen to music or read a book. Sometimes I even catch up on some work emails. The bus is usually not too crowded, so I can sit comfortably. When I get off the bus, I have to walk a short distance to my office. I prefer taking the bus because it's cheap and environmentally friendly. I don't have to worry about parking or traffic jams. On rainy days, I take an umbrella with me to stay dry. Using public transportation helps me save money and reduces stress compared to driving a car. Busy life. How do you manage your busy life? Managing a busy life can be challenging, but I try to stay organized. I use a planner to write down my tasks and appointments. This helps me keep track of what I need to do each day. I also make a to-do list every morning to prioritize my work. I try to take short breaks to relax and recharge. On weekends, I spend time with my family and friends to unwind. Balancing work and personal life is important, and staying organized helps me manage everything better. Hang out with friends. What do you like to do when you hang out with friends? When I hang out with friends, we like to do different activities. Sometimes we go to a cafe and enjoy some coffee and snacks while we chat. Other times we watch movies together or play video games. We also enjoy going to the park for a walk or playing sports like soccer or basketball. On weekends, we might plan a small trip to a nearby city or visit a museum. It's always fun to spend time together and catch up on what's happening in our lives. Post upon the meeting. Why did you have to post upon the meeting? We had to post upon the meeting because a few team members couldn't make it. They had urgent work to finish and couldn't attend. Also, the manager was out of the office due to an unexpected issue. It's important that everyone is present, so we decided to reschedule for next week. This way, we can have a better discussion and make sure everyone's input is heard. 
new job. How do you feel about starting your new job? I feel excited and a little nervous about starting my new job. It's a great opportunity for me to learn new skills and meet new people. I am also happy because the job matches my interests and career goals. The office is nice and the team seems friendly. I hope I can do my best and grow in this new position. Overall, I'm looking forward to this new chapter in my life. Exercise outdoors. Do you enjoy exercising outdoors? What kind of activities do you do? Yes, I enjoy exercising outdoors very much. I like the fresh air and being in nature. My favorite outdoor activity is jogging in the park. I usually go jogging three times a week. Sometimes I also like to ride my bike on weekends or go hiking with friends. Outdoor exercise makes me feel happy and healthy. It's a great way to stay fit and enjoy the beauty of nature. Tea or coffee? Do you prefer tea or coffee? Why? I prefer coffee. I like the taste of coffee, especially in the morning. It helps me wake up and feel more alert. I usually drink one cup of black coffee every day. Sometimes, I also like to try different flavors like vanilla or caramel. Tea is also nice, especially herbal teas in the evening. But coffee is my favorite because it gives me energy for the day. Late at work. Have you ever been late to work? What happened? Yes, I have been late to work a few times. One time, there was a lot of traffic because of an accident on the road. I left home early, but the traffic was so bad that I arrived 30 minutes late. I called my boss to let him know, and he understood. Another time, I missed my bus because it came earlier than usual. I had to wait for the next one, which made me 15 minutes late. I felt very stressed, but I explained the situation to my boss, and he was understanding. Since then, I tried to leave home even earlier to avoid being late. Freelancing What are the advantages of freelancing? Freelancing has many advantages. First, you can work from home or anywhere you like, which is very flexible. You can also choose your own working hours, so it's easy to balance work and personal life. Freelancers often have the freedom to pick projects they are interested in, which makes the work more enjoyable. Another advantage is that you can work with different clients, which helps you learn new skills and gain more experience. Finally, freelancing can sometimes pay more than a regular job, especially if you are good at what you do. Overall, freelancing offers a lot of flexibility and opportunities. Eat at the shopping mall. Do you like to eat at the shopping mall? Yes, I like to eat at the shopping mall. There are many different food options to choose from. You can find fast food, salads, pizzas, and even desserts. I like that I can try new foods each time I visit. It is also convenient because I can eat while I take a break from shopping. The food court usually has a nice atmosphere with many people, and it is a good place to sit and relax. Sometimes I go with friends and we all get different foods to share, which is fun. Sitcoms popularity. Why do you think sitcoms are so popular? Sitcoms 
are very popular because they are funny and easy to watch. People like to relax and laugh after a long day, and sitcoms are perfect for that. The characters in sitcoms are often relatable, and we can see parts of our own lives in their stories. Also, sitcom episodes are usually short, around 20 to 30 minutes, so they are easy to fit into a busy schedule. Many people enjoy watching sitcoms with their family and friends, making it a fun, shared activity. Overall, sitcoms are popular because they bring joy and laughter into people's lives. Mood How do you usually improve your mood? When I feel sad or stressed, I like to improve my mood by doing things that make me happy. Listening to music is one of my favorite ways to feel better. I also enjoy going for a walk outside, especially in the park. Fresh air and nature always help me relax. Sometimes I talk to my friends or family and they make me laugh. Another thing that helps is watching a funny movie or reading a good book. These simple activities can change my mood and make my day better. First date. Can you describe your first date experience? My first date experience was very exciting, but also a little nerve-wracking. We decided to meet at a small cafe in town. I arrived a bit early and found a nice table near the window. When my date arrived, we greeted each other with a smile and a handshake. We started by talking about our interests and hobbies. We discovered that we had a lot in common, like our love for music and movies. We ordered some coffee and shared a piece of cake. As the date went on, we laughed a lot and enjoyed each other's company. After about two hours, we decided to take a walk in the nearby park. The weather was nice and we continued our conversation while enjoying the fresh air. The date was a wonderful experience and I learned that being yourself and having fun is the most important thing on a first date. 